always welcome back to this channel if you're new here my name is Belinda Strana thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel turn on notifications so that anytime I upload videos you will be the first person to be notified to my returning subscribers to those people that share my videos leave commentaries and also educate each and every one of us you guys are the real MVP all right lovelies let's dive into today's video so lovelies i came across this video on my for you page on tiktok and i thought to share with you guys where well, this sister actually called out a black owned brand i think it goes with the name ghetto gastro and she was like even if we want to support you know black owned businesses there that they should actually do it well and a lot of people actually have so many opinions regarding this black you know brand owned businesses and i was able to put up some of those stitches i'm just going to roll it please give me your own thought and let's dive into it black business is so bad but then y'all do stupid shit like release a brand called ghetto gastro and say the product is called a bop tart a black owned pop tart are we conducting any market surveys are we asking our loved ones around us if this is a good idea i don't think anybody around that man wants him to succeed i think everyone around him hates him there is no way you have anyone in your life that loves or cares about you and you started a brand called ghetto gastro and you say it's a bop tart have you met anyone below the age of 30 recently you cannot call it that and then your hook is oh we bring the flavor new flavors no one's ever heard of before and it's strawberry chocolate and peanut butter y'all make it so hard like why would i why would i ever want to open up my cabinet in the morning for breakfast and have the brand say ghetto gastro do y'all think do y'all think before y'all do these things do you though i'm just saying because ghetto gastro is in the name you're using the word ghetto as a way to just downplay the deter and that's the only reason you ain't trying to support that product or even research it that seems like it's in the realm of white supremacy but that just might be me, y'all. You know, I was about to go on this whole rant about people with that mindset having that holy than thou, like, oh, use the word ghetto. But if that's the case, y'all better not listen to any songs with the word ghetto in it or in its title. Personally, me, I say like ghetto synonymous with black, which is already some bullshit. But just like we took the N word back, we can take ghetto back and make it what we want it to be. Anywho, the Bob Tart set Target, along with their pancake and waffle mix and syrup, and even got an air fry. I plan on getting the cookbook on their website, too. So outside of you saying it's stupid, what makes it stupid? I mean, are we still in an era where we believe that white ice is colder or that we have to prove ourselves to other groups of people? First of all, the name is actually catchy. It sticks in your mind. It's easy to remember. And he tapped into alliteration, which is how a lot of people actually are able to learn and retain information. You mentioned some of the baseline flavors that he has. That's what most companies and most brands do because those are popular amongst everyone in the world. But he does have quite a few unique flavors. Also, when you go and look at the client reviews, people seem to be really excited and really happy. I've seen pretty much nothing but overwhelmingly good reviews about the taste and the quality of the different products. He apparently also has a sweet potato pancake mix that I want to try. And the box stands for black owned pastry. That's a clever play on words. You also could use the bop as dance. A lot of people do a little dance. They do a little bop when they eat something that tastes good. So what's the problem? It's just really crazy to see black people crap on other black people when they're doing something positive. And we sometimes are our own worst enemies. I know it's a lot of people over there in the comment section, kiki and clowning and all of that good stuff. But what products do y'all have? What businesses do you have? What major accomplishments have you created in your life? What are you doing for the culture? What are you doing with your passion or with your gifts and your talents to create legacy, to create monetization, to actually build a business and create something that's sustainable? There's nothing wrong with marketing something towards a niche audience. Actually, it's very smart. And whenever you do one to many is how you roll your way into millionaire and billionaire status. I ain't trying to tell down no black business, but what I will say is there's two things wrong with ghetto gastro. The first one being the name. Self-explanatory. The second one is the price point. Y'all shit is $6. Real Pop-Tarts is two for four.
Puerto Ricans will absolutely put pernil in their pop tart. A sazon glaze instead of icing is crazy. But the craziest part is that so many Puerto Ricans will actually buy it. If you haven't seen this video, watch it. Personally, I think it's foul that she tried to bash a company just because of the name. The company she tried to bash is called Ghetto Gastro. This is a black owned company making Bob Tarts without pork or artificial coloring. I, I love how black Americans have so out when it comes to this company. I don't eat pork or red 40, so I haven't had a Pop Tart in years. So imagine my excitement when I found out that I could actually eat these. I could care less that it say ghetto on it. Matter of fact, if I saw this in the stores without knowing anything about it, I'd be more inclined to buy it. I'm from the Bronx. It feels like they made a great quality product just for me. Hell yeah, I'm buying it because it say ghetto. I tried to buy some the other day and I couldn't. Because although she's talking bad about the company, so many more people started supporting this company. The link that I tried to use was sold out when I tried to get some. That made me happy. As the ingredients and pop tarts literally look like a science experiment. Might have ate these when I was younger, but I'm not eating these now. Thank you to this company for making a quality product that I'm actually excited to try. And thank you to the shorty for giving it the ill promotion because now I know about it. I can't wait to get this. I especially love how y'all been showing out for this company. Because I know somebody would have showed out for this for the, all the wrong reasons. And I would have been so mad. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, then put it in the comments. I'm so glad Pop-Tarts don't have any pork in it. That way I know you watched it. Okay, bye. So on my way to block that woman who attacked the black-owned pastry brand called Ghetto Gastro, I see that she made another video pretty much doubling down. I'm assuming she felt attacked by all the videos stitching her, and now she is becoming more unhinged. Now she said, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to support a business just because it's black. Who said that? Who said that? See how y'all gotta move the goalposts? Nobody said you have to support a business just because it's black. You also don't have to support businesses because they're not black. Y'all are quick to glaze companies that have a history of racism. But Ghetto Gastro is your point of attack. I really can't stand you hoes. Support whatever businesses you want to support. Period. But to get on here and attack a black-owned pastry brand is diabolical. Especially when black-owned businesses only represent 10 to 11% of all businesses in the United States. Y'all are demented. Truly. And we do not and will not accept you as a part of our community. Not to mention... That hoe got a bonnet on. You want to talk about respectability politics? Forgive me. So I've been seeing a lot of controversy around the ghetto gastro pastries. So the main thing I've been seeing y'all talk about is the price point and the name of the brand. The name of the brand, we're not even going to speak about that because you can name your brand whatever the hell you want to name it. And then the price point, y'all talking about how Pop-Tarts is so much better than this brand. It's a lot cheaper. You know why it's a lot cheaper? Because the quality of the products that they're using is better. If you go read the back of Pop-Tarts, you can barely read the ingredients on the back. You know why? Because they use a lot of synthetic chemicals, natural flavoring, things like that. Things that get you sick. Things are, that are forever chemicals and live in your body forever and no, never go away and cause cancer and things like that. Uh, 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 not saying that Pop-Tarts cause cancer. I'm not saying that. But some of the chemicals that they have in them do. Let's be honest. They're using better ingredients. Real fruit. You know, it's really, really been pissing me off, this discourse I'm seeing around ghetto gastro and Bob Tarts. And fortunately, I've only seen the one creator talking about it, but all the people in her comments co-signing, a lot of white people in those comments co-signing as well, is really weird to me because, like, how does that hurt black people at all? How does that branding harm us at all? How does ghetto gastros, which I think is a brilliant branding it's it's alliteration it's wordplay chef's kiss how does that hurt us as a people what where what's the harm in that what's what's negative about that honestly y'all sound like them 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 boomer ass aunties that are just like oh don't do pull up your pants and don't do this and don't do that what will the whites think i thought we stopped caring about what the white thinks at least after obama's first term because if that didn't change their minds, <laughs> like, lean in, nigga, like, who cares? That's somebody who was from the ghetto. Like, what? what's wrong with it?
What's wrong with it? Ghetto fabulous, baby. What's wrong? I don't know. I I think that there's there's some sort of cultural disconnect here. It's the weird respectability politics shit. It's that weird inherent like ick you feel anytime you see something named ghetto, whether it is a, a self naming or not. I don't know. It's just really weird. It is really weird to try to shit on a, a, a black business for for no other reason than you don't like the name. It'd be one thing if they were called like Coon Kitchen or some shit like that. <laughs> like Ghetto Gastro. That sounds dope. I'm trying to go to the Ghetto Gastro pub. Where is it? The one in the ghetto? I shop at the Ghetto Safeway. The Ghetto Popeyes is the best Popeyes. That's just a description. That's what we call our communities or whatever. And that's fine. If you didn't grow up in the ghetto or if you grew up being told that the ghetto was this horrible place that nobody should be proud of, you do that. But me? Shit, the ghetto is home. The hood is home. So who cares? I seen that and was like, this was made for me. If you saw it and were like, Ugh, and turned your nose up, that says something about you. So I'm seeing a lot of commentary about Ghetto Gastro. A lot of people are just trying to dog walk this brand. Um, everyone is entitled to their opinion, but I personally would just like to say this one thing. When it comes to brands, and selling anything the beauty of it is is that you will find your audience um how do i know this personally from cake baking um and the price point that i would sell my cakes um when i was like really heavy into it and pretty quickly you will find out that hey everyone may not be your customer and that is okay but baby the customers that are interested the customers that are meant for you they will come and of course there's a lot that can be said because there are black businesses out there that specifically only like their only selling point is support me because i'm a black business and similarly to any other audience black people are not a monolith so you are going to have people that support you and you'll have your naysayers and then you'll have you know the people that criticize the entire thing um the bottom line and the most important part about the bottom line is that just focus on your audience and taking care of your audience and those are the people that will keep you in business this is a very interesting case when it comes to marketing because it is different uh different as in like for me, as a black person, it comes across as a little bit of cringeworthy because of the name, Ghetto Gastro, uh, but I get it, okay? I went and watched a couple of other videos from the actual brand. Yes, it's a black-owned business, um, and they do call it Bop Tarts instead of Pop Tarts, but they say Bop instead of Pop because it's black-owned pastries and a bite of power. Morg said in the video that she stitched that she doesn't think that they did any market research and I can kind of see why she said that because I don't I wouldn't think that they have done that either. But here's the thing. They are actually in Target. There are all they're in big box stores. So it, there has to be some backing, it has to be some fun, and it has to be some thought process going into that uh, for them to reach this amount of success that they have had so far. I think it's a cool spin. Uh, what I happen to notice is a lot of the videos that have been trying out the Ghetto Gash or have been trying out the Bop Tarts have been a lot of white people. And it's interesting to me to know that if we tend to make something cool as a collection, as a culture, as a group of black people, then it tends to always translate over to white people. Like they, they desire the things that we make popular. So, you know, as a supporter of everybody black, <laughs> I think if we get on the bandwagon and continue to support Ghetto Gastro, then, you know, they can become a really successful business. And that's all I have to say about it. I think it's interesting. Yeah. It's a fun, cool take. Yeah. And I think it's really creative, y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. So y'all mean to tell me y'all mad because Ghetto Gastro, that's their name? Is that the only reason? I don't got time to go back and look at who started this conversation, but what's the problem? They, you must have just found out about them because I see that they're on TikTok shop now. They have their own shop up there. 
I probably order from it, but I want a pop tart now. So I'll probably go to I'm gonna go to the Target near me because I just saw that they have some sweet potatoes in stock. And I would love to try one just because y'all making this issue that shouldn't be an issue. Um next, another discourse. Why do we like to include everybody because one person says something? Your beef is not with everyone. Your beef is with that person. Well, you shouldn't even have a beef just because you disagree. It's okay to not agree with someone. Y'all know that, right? Okay? Bye. And we can honestly stop it there because you really wasn't trying to support it. You one of them types, honey. You see black people doing their own thing and you try to find any reason to shit on it just to make the excuse that you was going to buy it, but you not. Girl, bye. And, and and the gag is what I know is these types, honey, when you tell them that their favorite brand or company is supporting some bullshit, like supporting these murderous cops, f funneling money into uh, the Republican, the Republican Party. They want to argue. T they want to argue you down, honey. They'll tell you they're just adamant about how they're not going to give it up, how they got the law, how they're just loyal as fuck to this one company or these companies. But some black owned shit, oh baby, they fight every little reason, every little thing, honey. Uh, the owners has green. I can't support. They call it Bob Tarts. I can't be bothered. Girl. Bye, girl. Bye. First off, what's up? Secondly, uh, this just popped up on my For You page. So I feel like I should say something. Basically, it was this young lady who made a video expressing that she thinks Ghetto Gastro Bob Tarts is a stupid name for a company and that she is choosing to not spend her money there. And because of that, a bunch of other black people have been stitching her video saying that she's operating out of white supremacy and saying that, you know, she is just, she's just skin folk. She ain't kin folk, basically. And my personal opinion is I like black owned businesses. I like supporting black owned businesses, but that does not mean that black owned businesses are exempt from feedback. I feel like a lot of times the black community confuses feedback or criticism with negativity and just because someone doesn't favor a black owned business or doesn't favor something that a black owned business is selling that we immediately feel the need to attack those people instead of thinking critically if we want to have a community we have to understand that in that community are individual people with individual opinions just because someone chooses not to like a black owned business or says that they don't like something that a black owned business is doing it does not one affect your ability to still work with that black owned business and two, it does not mean that that black owned business is not a good business. It's just not one that somebody doesn't favor. Like in this video and in the other videos behind that, none of those did she say that nobody should spend their money there and that nobody should go there. She simply said that she won't and that's fine. I don't know, I just find it so weird that the moment that a black person has a different opinion or doesn't favor another black person and their businesses that black people immediately jump down that person's throat and express that them having an opinion that is different or that differs from the unanimous opinion of liking that business or liking that company or liking that person that they're just operating out of white supremacy and they really don't give a fuck about the black community i mean if anything if we want a stronger community why don't we introduce some ideologies that are different from the ones we believe why is it wrong for a black person to be honest with other black people i don't get that and it's happened before. I think what Keith Lee, he was a food critic on TikTok. He went to Atlanta and reviewed a couple of different businesses and honestly said that he didn't like their poor customer service and the long wait times. And a whole bunch of black people jumped down his throat too, all because he didn't favor the negative things about that business. In reality, he was doing nothing but giving feedback. The funniest part is that I saw another black TikToker be like, y'all need to keep that same energy with every other business. But that's what that we do that most people do that most people when they go into a business and they experience unfavorable conditions say something whether it's in person whether it's in a video or whether it's in an email that's what complaints are for that's what a if you have any questions email for that business is for like I don't get why y'all think that just because a black person or any person who talks bad about a black owned business I don't get why y'all think that's just exclusively for those black owned businesses. No, most people, if they have feedback for a company, they're going to give their feedback. That's how kind of forward we are in this day and age. I don't know. I think 
black people should be okay with people having differing opinions, especially because A, them having a different opinion does not affect your ability to mess with that company. And B, what are y'all going to do when you find out that the company you're supporting doesn't align with you religiously or politically? What if y'all find out that the ingredients or the supplies that that company is using, they're using illegally or they're not using organic? I don't know. I just feel like black people should allow other people to, or other black people in particular, to have opinions about black owned businesses and to give criticism to those businesses. There is nothing wrong with criticism, black people. If you disagree, you can disagree. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's all I have to say. Drink some water. I seriously love this. This ghetto gas try has actually caused a lot of, you know, controversy on the social platform. So it's actually a, a black owned business. Is there are other, you know, brands that, you know, has the same warp tarts and all of that. And uh, this one got a lot of people reacting to the fact that this some um, black lady or sister talks about how um the name is something that it's not giving like it's giving oh okay they call black people ghetto okay yeah we are accepting oh like we are accepting to be called ghetto like i think that is what she meant she's she means the name ghetto is giving ghetto like it's giving low class i don't know and in the other hand she talked about how um the price is in a high side compared to other products you know and uh i have watched countless you know stitches people stitching this video everybody coming up with different opinion and which there is something I got to understand. So I saw a particular stage um, that actually stitched a video concerning the price. She was like, truthfully, the reprise or then other companies or brand sells there for about two, two, you know, two dollar or three dollars. But this particular ghetto, you know, gastro brand sells for uh, about five to six dollars. And in the other hand, she talked about how the ingredients are very different from the other brands. The ingredients in this ghetto gastro is something natural, that some something that you are aware, something that you know, something that okay, when you read, you know exactly what you are consuming in your system. Why the other ones? Um, she talked about how it contains some kind of chemical that you don't know about that might even be uh, very harmful for your health and there are a lot of people purchasing this ghetto gastro like it's as if okay they have, they've been there the, com the company have been there but because of this controversy so many people has actually gone to purchase it to you know compare it uh, compare it with other products or other brands but the real thing about all of the whole thing that I think that the sister is so against is the fact that the name is serving in ghetto. Which, on the other hand, I think that the ghetto gas chai actually is a catchy name, you know, coming from a black, you know, black person. Like, me as someone, when I go to purchase things and I see different different brand and I, I, I see this ghetto gastro, I think I as a black person, I'll get more connected with that um, ghetto gastro. Like, I just want to know what is it. I, I want to know. I, I think this is actually a market strategy. I know she said that it's not a good market stra strategy. It's not sellable or something. But I think it's a kind of a catchy name. You know, due to the fact that there are so many things, there are so many, you know, controversy around ghetto. There are so many things that have been said about ghetto. Like when you when we mention the name ghetto, everybody is just looking at some people that looks like me. That is it. 
it actually reminds me of a stitch i put up here i think about a, a month before a month back where when you go on tiktok search bar and click on ghetto makeup yeah, even now guess the make guess the people that you will see on your for you page just right now click ghetto makeup on tiktok you will see all of the all of the melanins beautiful melanin sisters with their makeup things like the search bar ghetto on tiktok we bring to you black women doing all of their makeup skincare eyebrow things everything black or brown or melanin so when i saw this ghetto gastro i was like it's catchy you know sometimes when your enemy decides to use use a particular thing to keep on coming for you you know trying to bring you down trying to you know put you down try to make you understand that you are of no class compared to them i think it's better for you to use your downfall as a means to elevate yourself what am i saying a lot of you know side talks and all of that referring people that look like me as ghetto people i think it's a very wise business strategy to use that word ghetto as a means of market strategy and with the review coming from different people and the way at which people are giving so many reviews it seems that the product is actually nice it seems that the product is actually nice and nothing wrong with it and the ingredient is been listed there all of the like if you can have get your hands there maybe you should just try it and see or maybe you've had it or you've tested it or you know compared to other ones leave it in the comment section because i, I am up for promoting black on you know black owned businesses coupled with the fact with what have been happening all over the social platform with the outcome of the election with Walmart, with you know i am i am all in for promoting black businesses but with that being said that does not mean that you know black people shouldn't do their own research or whatsoever before putting out a product there for for people like us to support at least even if black people and out, 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 out for supporting, you know, black owned brands, black owned businesses. I think it's also the duty of these people who own such brands to do their due diligence in, you know, bringing out a product that when you use it, even if it gets a criticism, it won't be too much. But that does not mean that when you are running a business, you shouldn't expect criticism criticism is a means for you to do better is a means for you to do good someone trying to criticize you you know does not really mean that they want your downfall it actually means you should do better you know but i think why people are stitching and getting so worked about it is the fact that the way she you know brought it all over the social platform like it's giving i want to bring down a business then i, I could also suggest if you want to do something like maybe you should just you know there's a feedback in their in their website or something write them you guys need to you know improve on this but you shouldn't come do it in a social platform where by it might actually harm the business you are trying to promote you know when and when i say that um someone trying to criticize you with what you do does not really mean that that person wants to actually pull you down it actually means the person will want you to improve i have received so many criticism here as well and also so many people you know coming to like tell me what to do and what not to do but there is one particular um comment that i was like oh my god this people actually wanted me to like it was like i'm not here to criticize you also but there is 
do, do this this way, do that this way. I'm just telling you this in order for you to grow because I want to see you grow. When I saw that comment, oh my God, I totally forgot all of the things that every other comment I've been, you know, trying to like, no, I was like, oh my God. Even in the process of that, this person just wanted to make me, you know, grow. That's why I have to like buckle up, you know, and all of that. So I think why she's receiving a lot of backlash from people is the fact that I think is the way she said it, is or is the way it's coming, or maybe the way she, you know, with platform and you know a lot of you know these other people that wouldn't want people that look like me to grow. They are looking for every means to drag you down, but that does not really mean that you as a brand owner shouldn't do well in your brand. If a customer should complain on. A certain thing maybe you should just compromise and try to do the things and you as a customer even if you want to criticize or try to correct a, a brand owner or something there's a way you can do it without you know gi give it that energy of i want to bring you down or something like that <laughs> anyway lovelies why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for education and informative purposes. If you want to subscribe to this channel up to this extent, please do your girl a huge favor to click on the subscription button. Like and I will see you love this when I upload the next one. Esther, thank you so much for all the love and support. Wanna just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for education and informative purposes. Alright, lovely. So please share, subscribe, and I will see you lovely when I upload the next one.